Hey, hello there everybody. It's uh, my last holiday. Uh, actually, I'm in Germany at the moment, uh, driving home. There's about five and a half more hours to go. Um, we already did about four and a half hours, so it's quite, it's quite a trip. The topic today will be how to grow an audience. And my name is Tineke Rense. I'm from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year guaranteed. Now I have 31 years of business experience of my own. Every Friday we do a live and you can ask me anything. And today the topic was growing an audience. How to encourage more people to join my Facebook group. Um, well, you need a strategy for that. Uh, it's not just encourage because people are overwhelmed on Facebook. Everybody is asking for their attention. Um, I don't know if you remember how you have joined your um, uh, my Facebook group, but we have a strategy and the strategy is Facebook allows us to invite 50 friends every day. Uh, that's what we do and not everybody accepts uh, that. So uh, not everybody accepts my invitation and then they get an invite to the group. Not everybody accepts the invite and of the people who uh, accept the invite, not everybody answers the three questions. So we grow roughly 25 to 40 people a week with this strategy. It's slow. Um, other things you can do is ask a friend to invite people. You can go in other groups and ask to join your group, but the group host won't like that. Um, one thing we also did is we created a website for our Facebook group. So people can find the website. We send the link um, everywhere in our emails. There's always the link on the website. We have banners. Um, join our Facebook group. In our videos, we have um, a call to actions. Join the Facebook group. So there's, um, there's a lot of things you can do. But the first thing you do is start to invite all the friends you already have at least if they are um, your target audience. So that is how you can start to grow your Facebook group. And there's sending out newsletters, there's win and like um, uh, actions uh, that you can do, and there's, uh, there are apps who can uh, track uh, the amount of likes or win and share. Uh, so there's, there's, there's quite a lot of things that you can do to grow your Facebook group. Okay. So what makes good social media content, which attracts more sales, jewelry, to the website? So first of all, you should have amazing pictures, amazing images, uh, professionally done. Um, or you should hire a model or someone who looks like a model with beautiful hands, beautiful neck, wearing all your jewelry and creating pictures of that so you need to invest in that um, because if you don't if it looks um, self-made self-done it doesn't look very professional so that's the first thing you need uh, profession professional images and photo shoots and then uh, you need people who have your jewelry and say how much they like it, how much they like it so you need client testimonials what did wearing that jewelry do for them or what has happened with them whilst they were wearing it how did they feel did people say something about it so you need um, you, you need something like that but especially when you're on Instagram images is the most important first of all you need to create an audience and then at some point you need to start to do discounts. So now I am outside here and I just hope it's not going to rain. So I'm, uh, <laughs> we had a lot of rain today and I was happy that uh, it wasn't raining at the time when I was uh, creating this uh, video. So what else? The best way to organically grow the number of followers 
it's uh, using the right hashtags, it's following the right people, it's commenting um, and sharing your content on other social media profiles. Um, organically, we, we all want it to grow organically. Um, I always think it's better to use a strategy because when you have a strategy it can grow faster and you can do both. You can try to grow organically. I always uh, get people who um, uh, want to become a member of my group and we didn't invite them. I don't know how they found us but some, like I told you before, we are promoting the group everywhere. Yeah, the best way to grow, the, to grow your audience creating good content, engaging with the people, and making sure that you use the right hashtags, you follow the right people, and you comment in the threads of those people, where many other people have commented too. And then you think, that then people might want to follow you. But it is a lot of work to grow your accounts organically. Tineke, can you share me some tips for a business? Um, and especially for growing the audience of a business that has just started. So the best thing when you have just started your business is engage with the people you already know. So you already have a following. Those are usually the first customers from a launching business. So that is important. Now I know um, we sometimes don't, don't like to uh, bother our friends with this. But well, why, why don't they want to know what you have? So we, we sometimes don't want to sell to friends. But you don't need to sell. You can just enthusiastically talk about what you're doing and what you, what you do and how you do it. And if they're family and friends, they would like to know. They would, uh, they would ask you to show something, to share something, to talk about it. So that's usually, those are usually your first customers the people who are close in your first circle. Then if they buy and their friends or relatives, make sure that they become your ambassadors. Ambassadors, ambassadors, sorry. Uh, they, they can help you grow because they uh, use your product or they have used your service and they are enthous uh, enthusiastic about it. So, I mean, I haven't been speaking English for a long time. <laughs> Usually I'm at work, I'm in the office and I'm speaking English all the time, but now I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the words. Um, so create ambassadors. Um, ambassadors. That's what you always need. And people usually, especially when they're women, they, they don't talk about your product or service to make money or to get a commission. They just do it because they like you or love you. So that's how you can start getting clients for your launching business. Right, now um, we, we are just 10 minutes away. Uh, don't forget to also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Powerful Business Academy, because all these videos will also be on my YouTube channel and all the videos we've created before that you have joined the group. So there's hundreds of videos with content about anything but scaling and growing your business. And don't forget, if you are having a, a product or a service and you're selling to other businesses or you want to sell to other businesses and really want to scale and grow your business, you want to create from your one woman business a proper business with a team and partners and everything. Just, and don't think it's too early when you are overwhelmed, when you're doing everything yourself, usually that is the time to start scaling your business. That's where I come in. Just schedule a 15 minute call with me and we'll find out if we're a match. I won't be selling you anything during these 15 minutes. If you haven't joined in from the beginning, I'm somewhere in Germany beneath Würzburg and Frankfurt driving home from Italy. We had a, a, a sleepover in Austria um, last evening and I'm still, still need to drive another five and a half hours. So it's quite a long trip still. Um, but I'm, ho I'm hoping we're going to make it uh, today. It's my daughter, she's responsible for the music, I'm responsible for the driving, and I just needed a little break, and that was good, because we could do the Facebook Live. And next week I will be back in my office, um, have been speaking English all week with my clients and with my team.
Uh, but I noticed in the beginning <laughs> it was a bit weird uh, speaking English again. Uh, right, bye bye. Have a great time. Have a good week. Have a good weekend first. And hope to see you next week on Friday. And on Monday we will announce the topic of next week's Facebook Live. Bye bye for now.